So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, we know now know that you know this Ryan Garcia Manny Pacquiao fight was a load of rubbish. Um, it was never gonna happen, and it was. I don't know whether it was a publicity stunt from Ryan Garcia's part, uh, because Ryan Garcia literally came out and said that you know he's gonna be fighting Manny Pacquiao. He's in negotiations. He also said that you know that uh, then he afterwards you know we heard it was going to be an exhibition and then then Brian Garcia further came out and said it's not going to be an exhibition it's going to be a proper fight and it's going to count on our records and then straight away Golden Boy's uh you know Gomez came out was it Gomez I can't remember one of the Golden Boy you know execs or whatever came out and said no um uh, this fight's not going to happen so all all along we were strong along you know as it happens, and, and this, it was always nonsense. I always said that I think this is fake news. I always said that I think this is nonsense. I, I just don't see Manny Pacquiao fighting Ryan Garcia. And Manny Pacquiao obviously ended up losing his WBA belt. I think he was going to lose that anyway. Uh, and I think the fact, I th think the fact that, you know, these, fa these false negotiations may have lost Manny Pacquiao his belt. These false negotiations may have lost Manny his belt. Because if if there was no negotiations going on with with Ryan Garcia, right, the WBA might have might have not stripped him. Because they thought that Manny Pacquiao is not serious of fighting a real contender, uh, they're thinking he's fighting Ryan Garcia. Let's strip him. But those obviously now we know that that was fake news and it wasn't true. Uh, Manny might have not got stripped if 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 you know if that you know those. You know Ryan Garcia's team or whoever it was. Ryan Garcia didn't come out with that, with that um, nonsense because it was nonsense, right? If you if you're saying you're gonna fight Manny Pacquiao and then all of a sudden we hear from your executive, the guys that you know your employers saying that no, that's not true. Then one can only say it's a publicity stunt because Manny Pacquiao, I didn't hear one interview from him or anything about him saying about the anything about the Ryan Garcia fight. So. It's very disappointing that um that uh you know the fact that you know I, I don't think it's disappointing because I don't think anybody really wanted to see it anyway. It wasn't like there was huge demand for it, but it's just the fact that uh I feel that this was used as a publicity stunt. Uh, you know, and, and people say, Well, oh Ryan Garcia's got millions of followers on social media. Well, like I said, it and uh, some more won't hurt, will it? Um, this obviously is going to increase your profile because people are going to be like, oh, Ryan Garcia is fighting Manny Pacquiao. But really all along there was no, I think Chris Eubank did that with Golovkin a couple of years ago where, you know, Chris Eubank was saying that he was going to fight Golovkin. And, you know, when, ta when time, when, when it came time to sign, he didn't sign and they, you know, went another direction or he says that he, he didn't and the fight was taken away from him, but nobody really believes him. They think that he was, it was a publicity stunt from his side. And I think this is exactly the same thing with what's gone on with Ryan. Because how can Ryan Garcia be coming out and saying we're in negotiations with Manny Pacquiao. The fight's going to be an exhibition. The fight's not going to be an exhibition. It's going to count on our records. And then all of a sudden, the guy, the guys that uh, promote you coming out and saying that the fight's not going to happen. So it can only for me, it only it looks a bit of some. It looks a bit like a stunt to me, um, and it's disappointing. It's disappointing because Ryan Garcia was in negotiations, and I, I don't know. Maybe it could be something to do with. To take to not fight Tank, I don't know. Maybe it could be to do something to do with that, because the fact is that there was a lot of pressure on on the fact that Ryan Garcia kept talking a lot, and he says, "I'm gonna knock Tank out. I want to fight Tank next." And then Tank was like, "All right, then let's fight." And then all of a sudden, he's like, "Oh no, we're, we've got bigger fish to fry. We've got even a bigger fight than than Davis." So for me, this seems something that was cooked up, and it seems like. Um, a publicity stunt because how can you go from saying you're going to fight Tank, right? Which looked like there was going to be they were serious and they were in in talks to you know make that fight, and then all of a sudden you go from that to then saying that you're going to fight Pacquiao, and then saying you're in negotiation with Pacquiao and giving us the impression that the fight's almost done, and then your Golden Boy come out and say no, the fight's not happening. So while all this was going on for so such a long while, why didn't Golden Boy come out and say that then? I swear Oscar De La Hoya said that this fight could, with Pacquiao could happen as well. Didn't he make some comments? And then Gomez comes out of nowhere after, you know, quite a while, you know, saying that, no, this fight's not going to happen. I don't know. I think it was some, I think it was a publicity stunt personally, but um, I don't know. I'd love to know your opinions about it because... 
to be honest with you, it's um, it's messed Manny Pacquiao up because Manny Pacquiao has lost his belt. Uh, because obviously the WBA must have felt that this guy's not serious in fighting a contender. He's he's looking to fight Ryan Garcia, who's a hundred and thirty five pounder. So you know that probably uh, that probably got him stripped. So again, I I think that Ryan Garcia has got Manny as you know. I where I, I don't know whether that would have been. The sole reason for them stripping him, I think the fact that the the belt was, uh, Manny Pacquiao held the belt for so long and he hadn't fought for so long, um, I think that probably was an issue. And I think his future is uncertain as well because of his um, obligations that he has in the Philippines and he's older, uh, they probably want the division to keep moving and they know that Manny Pacquiao may not fight. Uh, and Manny Pacquiao doesn't, Manny Pacquiao doesn't need a belt. Do you see what I mean? He His fights are so big that he can, even without a belt, if he was to say, you know, he wants to fight Crawford or Spence, you know, he'll get those fights anyway. Um, I think the champion in recess stuff was just a polite way in, in stripping somebody uh, to take, you know, to, to kind of not uh, rub salt in the wounds by saying he's been stripped, right? we stripping him, you know, I think it's a nice way of saying he's a champion in recess, but... Um, I think he's no longer champion. So I think Manny Pacquiao is free to do what he wants. Um, obviously, the Ryan Garcia fight is not a fight that's going to be happening. So again, it comes back to the same question. Who's Manny Pacquiao going to fight? Or is he going to fight again? Because at the end of the day, the Ryan Garcia fight is now off the table. Um, McGregor fight looks off the table. You know, who's gonna? Who's he going to fight? Who's he going to fight? Because it doesn't look like Spence and Crawford are going to be next. He's not going to fight Ugas. Um, again, we come back to... Uh, we come back to... It's probably... Mikey Garcia's probably favourite again. He's probably favourite. But... Mikey Garcia, again, was very confident he was going to get the Pacquiao fight. But I just think he was talking confidently without actually knowing. Because uh, when this Ryan Garcia thing was going on and he was like, Oh, it's not a good look. So he... he he was talking as if he thought the fight was going to go ahead. Uh, but he was, he said that, yeah, he said that Manny will fight McGregor. This is what Mikey said, but he'll fight me. This was a, I saw a video a couple months back with Mikey Garcia. Yeah, he will fight a McGregor, but he'll fight me first. I don't know whether Mikey was ever confident. I think he was probably just acting confident for the camera, but I don't know whether he knows. I don't think anyone knows what Manny Pacquiao has got in his mind and what Manny Pacquiao is going to do. Um, you, you at this point nothing would shock you you know a, an opponent what he does with it what he does next nothing would shock you i think anything's possible uh hopefully we get to see uh, him in there with you know with a credible opponent with a guy you know with a big name uh with something that would make him a lot of money with that that could be seen as credible um but i don't know i don't know what manny pacquiao's planning to do uh, he may not fight again he may do uh, the fact that he's been stripped, uh, it frees him up because now he can do what he wants because he's not holding up the division. He, he can fight whoever he wants. He can fight whoever. Um, and nobody's going to say anything because he'd just be fighting. Uh, he'd be fighting not for a title. He wouldn't be fighting for... He'd be fighting, you know, just in a normal in a normal fight. So I think it makes a lot of sense, personally. I think it, it makes a lot of sense for Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao now is looking to make as much money as possible. And the biggest money for him might be against Spencer Crawford. Who knows? Um, but I, I personally think that I personally think that you know a fight with McGregor would be huge. Uh, but McGregor losing, I think if McGregor had won, I think that was a nailed-on certainty that he would fight McGregor. Um, but I think the fact that McGregor lost, um, the interest and. I think he's completely died. And I think McGregor is going to want to do the rematch with Poirier to get his revenge. So I think that's off the table. So I don't know where Manny Pacquiao is thinking about fighting. Is he going to fight again? Uh, hopefully we do get to see him in the ring. Um, I, I still think that he can beat... I still think he can beat a few guys, you know. I still think he's definitely got uh, something left still. But at the end of the day, how long is he going to... How long is he going to continue, you know? As they say, how long's a piece of string? I I think listen, man. I think he should. I, I think he should probably have one or two more fights, and then that's it. 
Um, if that's going to be against a tough competition, if that wants to be exhibitions, I think he, I think Manny Pacquiao will keep fighting in exhibitions, um, just because I think there's money to be made, and I think in the c current climate we live in, uh, and the current, you know, boxing world, these exhibition fights are going to be a, a norm moving forward, and why not one of one of the biggest stars in boxing for the last 10, 15, 20, 25 years. Why not? Why can't he be involved in exhibition fights? I'm pretty sure there'll be a demand. I'm pretty sure there'll be money to be made. So, um, yeah, I think that, that Manny and Floyd will probably continue to fight in exhibition fights. Um, does that hurt the sport? Does that hurt their legacy? No, because why does it hurt the sport? There's more attention on the sport. Um, does it hurt their legacy? No, because they've done the hard yards. They've done the hard work. They've, they've, they've fought all the best and beat the best. So it doesn't really hurt the sport. It doesn't hurt their legacy at all. Um, you know, it's about, it's a business. It's about making money. Um, so, yeah. Um, Ryan, the Ryan Garcia fight, however, is not happening. I think we can kind of come to that conclusion. You know, the fact that the Golden Boy uh, executives come out and said that, you know, the fight's not happening. I think that's quite conclusive for us to say that fight's not happening. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to smash the like button. Um, make sure to share the videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.